Hello YouTube people, let's modify this G-Shock today. I like this G-Shock very much, it's very cool G-Shock. Not as cool as 5600BB, but still it's perfectly almost the same watch really. The only difference is that, well, the rubber is a little bit different, the bezel is different, but also the face has less text on it. Uh, the 5600BB has text next to the buttons as well, where this one has only one text that says Casio, that's it, no text next to the buttons, so it's even stealthier. So let's play with it, with a lot of different, well not a lot, but with several different bezels and straps. I have been uh, wanting to make this video for quite a while, but I was waiting for all the parts to arrive. Now when I have all the parts, let's play around, <laughs> let's see how it looks like. And what I want you to do is to tell me in the comments which option do you like the best. Me personally, I will tell you at the end of the video. <laughs> so let's start the show, let's see how it looks like. So here are all the things that I have. This watch without a bezel. and. The bezel, the, uh, the metal bezel, white option, square 5600BB and original square. So let's start with the original rounded face watch. It looks alright, it's a cool watch. I like it, I use it quite often, honestly. I like the screen. This, uh, by the way, throughout the whole video, pay attention to the screen, how it plays out in the light, how these numbers shine in the direct light it looks very nice like like now right now yeah that's super cool i love that look and you can't see that in the video but in real when the sunlight hits that lcd it has some tint of a violet color violet and uh, it looks really cool and this is on the nato strap as you can see with these adapters it looks even better than the original strap, I, I would say, but you know, it's down to your personal preference. It looks cool, really cool. Yeah. And so, so here's the original. Okay, now move on to, <laughs> well, just for fun, how it looks like without the bezel at all. I have put it on this silicone strap which is actually not 16 but 18 millimeters so i have squeezed it in and it's super comfortable on the hand wonderful but it looks kind of weird a little bit a little bit strange so yeah look for yourself tell me what you what you think about this mod <laughs> Well, at least the buttons are easily usable now. And this is with the original square bezel 5600, not BB, as you can see it has white text. I personally don't really like the look of it. It looks like a sports tire with white letters on the sidewall. Kinda cool, but eh, not my thing really. It's, I don't know, tell me if you like it, but it's something is, is, is off. It, it just doesn't play together very nicely, I would say. There is no balance in this design. Well, with NATO, yeah, it kind of comes together. It looks alright, but still something is kind of, I'm not sure, not for me really. And this is 5600BB bezel. Except I have modified it, well, honestly destroyed it. <laughs> uh, I have cut off the side walls of this bezel so the buttons are easy to access. And you know what, it looks ugly. <laughs> honestly, I don't like how it looks like. Be maybe because my eyes are so used to the square G-Shock, how it looks like originally, that I just can't look at this. Now it looks destroyed it just i don't know something is missing something is off it looks broken <laughs> well it is kind of is broken really i broke it myself as you can see 
yeah the bezel sits nicely with the screws it doesn't wobble around everything is fine it just doesn't look really good on nato yeah it kind of comes together looks not so not so bad but still something is off oh this one oh my god i like it so much you know let's not wait for the end of the video i'm gonna tell you right away this is my favorite the white it looks so good well my mom says that it's a woman's watch <laughs> it looks like woman's watch the same thing says my wife but i think it's perfectly fine as unisex watch i have no problem wearing it really i don't feel it as a woman's watch doesn't make sense to me honestly it looks absolutely wonderful here's an outside shot feel free to pause the the video anytime if you want to take a better look at some shots i i love how it looks like really wonderful nice i'll i would say it's as cool as 5600 bb probably not as cool but well pretty close really definitely a little bit prettier and at least to my eyes 5600 BB all black, yeah it's very cool but kind of always, always feels like it's missing something but this one is just perfection, I don't know, I love it. And that's how it looks like on the Nito strap. Nah, don't really like it on Nito. I like when it's all white, but you know, it's all down to the personal preference really. So yeah, super, super beautiful. The contrast between the LCD screen, between the black face and the white bezel is just amazing. It looks wonderful. Now just to mess around, this is white, well as you can see for yourself, original rounded face and white strap. Uh, looks alright, not my thing but I can see it, yeah it, it's alright. And now with the square face. Um, white letters on the square face to give up a white strap, maybe, but nah, nah, not really, not my thing, not really. And now is the one that you have probably waited for the most, <laughs> the metal, the metal one with the strap that metal usually comes with, but it has this horrible gap between the strap and the bezel and the bezel i hate things like that but with the original strap with this one it's perfect there is no gap it looks interesting well honestly the metal one looks better in videos and in pictures but personally for me i feel like my hand is a little bit too small for this watch luck to luck distance is 50 millimeters if i remember correctly and in videos and pictures it doesn't look really that big but in person it looks big and for me it kind of def defeats the purpose of a G-Shock because it's a fingerprint magnet and uh, I don't know shiny shiny heavy G-Shock mm, I don't know not for me looks kind of cool eye catchy yeah for some days but I wouldn't wear it daily it looks the best in person on a NATO strap as you see right now it kind of evens out the whole bulkiness of this bezel but still not my thing really not my thing I like the white one the best so here are some shots feel free to pause if you wanna take a better look kind of cool yeah cool not my thing though so I was a little bit afraid to make this video a little bit boring, so I have shortened it out quite a bit. If you want to see it, feel free to watch it again and pause in the places that you are the most interested in. And don't forget to leave a comment which one you like the best. By the way, I want to leave a small comment about this metal bezel. You are probably interested in it. How is it? How is the quality? It's very good quality, no sharp edges, everything comes together very nicely. And how are the buttons with this metal bezel? Perfectly the same as with the original bezel, no difference whatsoever. Still difficult to press though, <laughs> but it's no, no worse than the original, it's, it's the same, completely the same. 
and how is the white uh, variant everything comes together nicely as well no complaints really it's just as original so the white one wins for me tell me which one wins for you <laughs> so thank you for watching have a nice day goodbye